In this video, I'll demonstrate how to publish a feature service from ArcGIS for Desktop to ArcGIS Online. I'm going to use a data set from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency that shows the locations of facilities that produce and release toxic substances. Publishing a hosted feature service from a data file like we're about to do is quite different from adding that same file to a web map. When you add data to a map, it lives in the map. If someone wants to use it in a different map, they need the source file. But when you publish the file as a service, it can be added as a layer to any web map. You can also set its default symbology and pop-up configuration so the user doesn't have to set this up. To publish a hosted feature service, you have to be a publisher or administrator in your organization. If you want to follow along and actually do the steps yourself, you can find the complete tutorial in the Getting Started section of ArcGIS.com. You'll need a licensed copy or trial version of ArcGIS for Desktop 10.1 software, a membership in any ArcGIS online organization, full or trial subscription, and publisher or administrator rights within your organization. Let's have a look at the finished result that you will produce if you complete this tutorial. This feature service will be made public, which means it can be viewed by anyone on the internet. It's real data, very current. Because of the way that the pop-up has been configured, it's easy to interpret. Users can see what was released, how much, and how dangerous it is. This is a powerful tool. Many people have no idea what toxic chemicals are handled in their neighborhoods. For example, schools could use this map to see where they are in relation to toxic releases. The great thing about making it so easy to publish services is that it makes valuable geographic information widely available and easily accessible. Okay, let's begin. The starting data that I need has been stored on ArcGIS Online. So first I'll sign into my existing account. At the top of the page, above the ribbon, I confirm that my search is set to All Content. Now I'll type LA County Toxics Release Inventory and click Search. I didn't get any results because only my own organization's content is searched by default. But if I uncheck this box, the limitations are removed and a file shows up immediately in the results. The search result has revealed something called a map package. What is that? A map package is a compressed file that contains an ArcMap MXD file which is a map document plus all the layers contained in that map document and all the source data for those layers. So they're kind of like zip files in that they're self-contained and can be emailed or transferred around easily. So I just click the small arrow here and choose to open it directly in ArcGIS 10 for desktop. When prompted after the download, I'll open the file called item.pkinfo. This launches ArcMap and pretty soon a map document called LA County Toxics Release Inventory opens. This map includes three feature layers plus a base map. We've got the toxic release locations, the municipalities within the county, and the boundary for Los Angeles County itself. In addition, there's a base map underneath all the feature layers called World Street Map. Over here in my home directory, I can see the MXD file and the geodatabase, which when expanded, has those three feature classes stored within. Let's take a look at the attributes for these toxic release locations. We've got facility names and addresses, the name of the toxic chemical handled at each facility, properties of the chemicals, and the amounts that were released in 2011. If I sort by address, I can see that some facilities have more than one entry because they handled more than one chemical at that location. These will get drawn as multiple symbols on top of each other. Now, I'm going to symbolize the layer in preparation for publishing it as a feature service. In this map document, the municipalities and Los Angeles County layers have already been symbolized in advance. I'll focus on symbolizing the Toxic Release Locations layer. So I'll just open the layer properties, click the Symbology tab, and then click Categories. Categorical symbology is the way to use things like names, descriptions, and other text-based attributes of a layer to control the symbology. The value field I'll use is the one called carcinogen. As the name implies, it's an indication of whether or not the chemical released at this site is considered by EPA to be a cancer-causing agent. I click All Values and I can see that there are two values represented, No and Yes. Now I click the Symbol column and choose Properties for all symbols. I'll make all the symbols 14-point triangles. Next, I want to distinguish between the Yeses and the Nos. For the no values, I'll click here and change the color to solar yellow, and then for the yes values, I'll make those Mars red. Now over here under label, I'm going to edit the yes and no labels. You'll see why this is important in a couple of minutes after I publish the service and open it in a web map. On the symbology tab, I'll come over here to this label column, 
click the word yes to make it editable, and then type carcinogen, and then click apply. In the same way, I'll edit the no label to read non-carcinogen. Click apply. Next, I'll use the down arrow here to switch the order of these. This won't affect which symbols draw on top of each other on the map, just the order in which they appear on the legend. This box about other values I uncheck because all my records do have either yes or no value. I click OK and now I have a nicely symbolized layer that clearly distinguishes the carcinogenic from non-carcinogenic releases. Now at this point I have a few more things to take care of before I actually publish this service. First of all, I'm going to right click and then remove the World Streets base map. The reason is that services are never published with base maps because base maps are already published and available as services. The same base map, or a different base map, can be incorporated into the web map after we publish our feature service, as you'll see later. Finally, I've got to fill out the map document properties. This is required for every service so that people searching for relevant services can find my service. I also want to make sure that meaningful information about the source and meaning of the data stays associated with the feature service after it's published. It may sound tedious, but it is such a crucial step that the system requires it. So up here in the file menu, I choose Map Document Properties, and I'll type in a clear, concise title, Los Angeles County Toxics Release Inventory. In the summary box, I want a little more detail than the title, and I'm going to cheat and copy this text out of the written tutorial and paste it in here. Same with the description. Copy, and then paste. The Tags box is where I'm going to put in different keywords that will help people find my service. In this case, I've got a half dozen or so that cover the terms that I think are most relevant. I'll just copy and paste those as well right from the tutorial. Click OK and close the map document properties and then click here to save the map document itself. OK, so much for the preparations. Time to publish. In ArcMap, I go to the File menu and choose Sign In using the same ArcJS Online login I used earlier. This makes a connection to ArcJS Online into my organization's hosted storage environment. Now I go back to the File menu, and this time I choose Share as Service. I confirm that I want to publish as a service, and click Next. At this point, I confirm that I have my connection set to my hosted services. I click Continue, and accept the default name that the system has recommended. Now here's where I specify the capabilities of my service. In this tutorial and video, we're focusing on how to publish feature services. We've got another tutorial and video on tiled map services in this series also available. So what exactly are the differences between the feature services and map services? A feature service delivers geographic data in the form of points, lines, or polygons to the web map user. The user or consumer of these services can then re-symbolize the data and format the attributes within their own web map. If the service owner enabled it, the user can even edit or delete features, thus changing the content of the service itself. Feature services are the right choice for datasets that form a collection of individual shapes within specific locations, such as buildings, rivers, or countries. Tiled map services, on the other hand, deliver static images of geographic datasets to the web map user. These images are organized into tiles or pieces, so they can be served in manageable sizes. As the map user pans and zooms, new tiles are delivered and cached on the user's local computer. Tiled map services are good for datasets that form a continuous surface of changing values. These may be natural surfaces, such as elevation or temperature, or statistical surfaces, such as population density. And just so you know, the multi-scale base maps featured in ArcGIS Online are tiled map services. All right, let's get back to the task at hand. Over here, under Capabilities, Check on Feature Access and uncheck Tiled Mapping. For the operations allowed, uncheck Create, Delete, and Update, leaving just the query box checked. For this service, I don't want users to edit features. I only want them to be able to get information. Next, I'll click Item Description. The summary, description, and tags are imported from the map document properties I set earlier. There are no use constraints, so I'll type None here. And finally, under Credits, I will source the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA. On the Service Editor toolbar, I click Analyze to check for problems. I'll move the Service Editor out of the way so I can see the results. 
Looking at the analysis results, I can see two warnings and a message, but no errors that would prevent publishing. These warnings and messages don't require any action, so I'll just forge ahead. You can refer to the written tutorial for more details if you want to learn about what these messages actually mean. Back on the toolbar, I now get to finally click the Publish button. I get some feedback as the service is published. Depending on how much data I'm publishing and other factors such as network speeds, this can take a minute or more. When it's finished, I get a message telling me that it was successful. I click OK. Now let's go have a look at the feature service I just published. I'm still logged into ArcGIS Online, so just go to My Content. There are two items here, the feature service and the associated service definition file. I click the title of the feature service to open its item description. The item description has a thumbnail image and the metadata that I supplied. Click the thumbnail to open the service in the ArcGIS.com map viewer. The service opens in the map viewer, displayed against my organization's default base map, which happens to be the topographic base map. Now if I come over here to the contents window and show contents of the map, you can see why I made the change to the labels back in ArcGIS for desktop. If I hadn't done that, this legend would just say yes and no, and that wouldn't be very informative. The carcinogen heading that I had in the ArcMap table of contents isn't carried over to the feature service. Clicking one of the triangles, I get a pretty busy looking pop-up that includes more information than is needed. In the written tutorial, the steps are included for taking this workflow all the way through and actually configuring this pop-up to be cleaner looking. If you want to see how to configure pop-ups, there's also a complete video and tutorial on that subject in the Getting Started with Online section of the Resource Center. If you were to follow along with the accompanying tutorial for this video, here's what the finished pop-ups will look like. Well, that's it. You've just seen how to prepare your data and then publish it as a feature service in ArcMap. Thanks for watching.